हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्टडी मैक एजुकेशन चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एमसीक्यू फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग विद सॉल्यूशन पार्ट ट्वेल्व सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर क्वेश्चन इज ऑटो फ्रेटेज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑटो फ्रेटेज इज द मेथड ऑफ ऑप्शन ए कैलकुलेटिंग स्ट्रेस इन अ थिक सिलेंडर ऑप्शन बी प्री स्ट्रेसिंग थिक सिलेंडर ऑप्शन सी रिलीविंग स्ट्रेस इन अ थिक सिलेंडर देन ऑप्शन डी increasing life of cylinder so option a option c and option d are not the right answer our right answer is option b pre stressing thick cylinder now how this pre stressing thick cylinder is related with an auto fretage so first of all let's discuss the definition of an auto fretage so we have some clear idea auto fretage is the metal fabrication technique in which pressure vessel is subject to an enormous pressure causing internal portion of the part to yield plastically resulting in internal compressive residual stress once pressure is released well let's see the figure during and after auto fretage after auto fretage we have high compressive hoop stress hoop stress is also known as circumferential stress so this circumferential high compressive stress is developed after auto fretage at the core and at outer side the hoop stress is moderate level the hoop stress is at moderate level now as we know the pressure vessel is designed to hold fluid and gas at high pressure without bursting so auto fretage is required now let's move to the next question before discuss the next question we should know what is the difference between pressure vessel and boiler pressure vessel and boiler both are tank first of all but pressure vessel is designed to hold fluid gas or liquid or both at high pressure without bursting while boiler is a tank to hold a liquid often water so that it can be boiled by a heat source or we can apply the heat with the help of some external source this is the basic difference between pressure vessel and boiler remember this now let's move to the next question percentage reduction in the area of cast iron specimen during tensile test would be of the order of option a negligible option c 10 to 25 percentage option b more than 50 percentage and option d 25 to 50 percentage option d option b and option c are not the right answer our right answer is option a negligible why because we have cast iron in the question and cast iron is a brittle material as we know and brittle material for brittle material the percentage reduction is negligible for tensile test if ductile material is given in place of brittle uh, in place of cast iron then we have some percentage reduction for tensile testing but over here we have cast iron so percentage reduction is negligible during tensile during tensile test now let's move to the next question our next question is the dryness fraction of steam within a turbine is not allowed to fall below option a 0.95 option b 0.50 option c 0.99 and option d 0.90 we must remember the dryness fraction of steam within a turbine is not allowed to below 0.90 so option d is the right answer now let's move to the next question according to factory act 1948 the permissible noise level in industry is option a 60 db option b 90 db option b 50 db and option d 100 db our right answer is option c 90 db now let's discuss some noise level db and its sources air compressor 95 to 104 db diesel generator 95 db milling machine 112 db very very important power of portable so 108 trucks 90 to 100 db then car horns 90 to 105 jet take off very very important 120 and quiet garden 30 db 
ticking clock 30 dB, very very low. Computer rooms 55 to 60 and type institute 60 dB. Printing press very very important 80 dB. Sports car 80 to 95 and trains. It is also very important 96 dB. Now let's move to the next question. Very very important question. Which of the following air fuel ratio? Air fuel ratio indicate that the mixture is rich. First of all, rich means petrol is more in air fuel ratio and lean means air is more in air fuel ratio. Okay, so remember for the both cases. Now uh, let's focus on the question again. Which of the following air fuel ratio indicate the mixture is rich? So option A 10 jam 1, option C 15 jam 1, option B 40.7 jam 1, option D 20 jam 1. Our right answer is A 10 jam 1. Now for 10 jam 1, we must remember it is idealing air fuel ratio. Always remember 12 jam 1 stand for full load air fuel ratio always remember and 14.7 jam 1 it is known as chemically correct ratio or stoichiometry ratio then 20 jam 1 20 jam 1 stand for at which petrol engine do not run always remember this detail petrol engine do not run on 20 jam 1 ratio now for 3 jam 1 first of all let me clear all this for 3 jam 1 3 jam 1 stand for cold start of an engine so remember these words for 3 jam 1 16 jam 1 16 jam 1 stand for part load so 12 jam 1 stand for full load 10 jam 1 for ideal mode 12 jam 1 for full load 14.7 chemically correct ratio 20 jam 1 and petrol engine do not run 3 jam 1 for cold start 16 jam 1 for part load now let's move to the next uh, question our next question is number of bolt in a flange coupling should not be less than option a 3 option c 4 option b 2 option d 6 our right answer is option c 4 as we can see in this figure we have 3 nut bolts and remaining fourth one is at the back side now let's move to the next question the difference between tooth space and tooth thickness on the piece circle is known as option a module option b working depth option c total depth and option d backless so our right answer is backless as we can see in this figure we have tooth thickness and tooth space so the difference between tooth space and tooth thickness as measured on piece circle this the dotted line is our piece circle is known as backless the difference between tooth space and tooth thickness as measured on piece circle is known as backless always remember now let's move to the next question our next question is alloy steel contain 36 percentage nickel is known as option A stainless steel, option B invar, option C high speed steel, and option D cover. Cover is given for confusion, so D is not the right answer. Option C is also not the right answer because high speed steel is not uh, high speed high speed steel does not have a 36 percentage nickel. First of all, and it is used for making tools. Now, option A stainless steel. Stainless steel is also not the right answer. Stainless steel is also known as inox steel and it contains 10.5 percentage chromium. Always remember. Now, option B Inver. Inver is our right answer. Let's discuss some important alloy. Very, very important for exam point of view. Hashed, uh, hashed alloy. Hashed alloy is a combination of nickel plus molybdenum. Nickel plus molybdenum always remember this word for hashed alloy very very important for exam point of view now monal metal monal metal is a combination of nickel plus copper now inconal inconal is a combination 
of nickel plus chromium plus iron okay in wire that we know 36 percent is nickel alloy and in color is a combination of nickel chromium iron model metal is a combination of nickel plus copper and uh, for hashed alloy hashed alloy is a combination of nickel and molybdenum okay so remember these details now let's move to the next question well this is the end of the video so to be continued hit the like button if you really like the content of this video and also give the comments because your feedbacks are very very important for us share this video with your friends like mechanical automobile mechatronics and don't forget to subscribe this channel to join with us for next video please subscribe this channel we are also available on facebook twitter linkedin and google plus and if you have any query and suggestion then feel free to contact us on studymakeeducation at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good time.